Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, we're on part A of the Extensive Beginner's Guide. And today we're going to be doing Salvage. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that punch and tickle the like button. And don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. Uh, there's eight parts now to this guide. Hopefully, people are getting a lot from this. Hopefully, it'll um, last a bit of time as well for people with the 18.2 with the, uh, updates. And uh, so, yeah, so we want to go through salvage today. So uh, before we get into it, I want to just quickly thank uh, Peeper. In this episode, I'm going to be using Peeper's um, Vulture. I don't, I don't own a Vulture, so I'm going to be using Peeper's, and it's going to allow me to do the job I need to do. And also, then we transferred that cargo from from Peeper's um, Vulture to his Cutty Black, and then onto my Max. And I also want to thank Dark uh, Dark Soul for uh, giving me some advice on where to look and how to find the salvage, uh, which basically allowed me to do this video for you guys. And um, just all the other guys that was on with me at the time when I was when I was doing this and just the chatter we had. You won't hear that chatter because um, I'm doing it off this video and and, and did the, the voiceover at the time with my mic muted. But um, yeah, I just want to thank all those guys that was on. So yeah, so we hope you like this video, guys, and uh, let's get into it. So what we do is we've got we've got the scanning we've got the ship, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press V. I'm over at um, her L3. And I'm going to press V to put myself in scanning mode, and then you use your mouse wheel just like you do in in, um, in mining, where you take your field of view from 360. So I'm going to keep it at 360, and I'm going to ping. And then what you'll get is you'll get signatures come up boxes, just like when you're mining. And when you go over them, you're going to get the readout as you see there. So this one's 1700, and so that will be a rock. Uh, what we're looking at is we want multiples of two uh, of 2000. So as we go over these, we, that's what we're going to be looking at is multiples of 2,000. And then if it's if, it, if we find one of them, that's going to be salvage, basically. So we'll just keep scanning until we get the signatures we want. So 5, 100. So that's all we'll do, and what we're going to do is we're going to start pushing, just start pushing um, in inwards, and, and what you'll do is you'll find the if there is big boulders like this, big chunks of broken up rock, then sometimes you'll find them near that basically. So we're just going to keep scanning around here until we find what we want. So just scan it and scan it just by putting your mouse over it or your plug you think over it 17 17 if I tip my field of view down then I don't get confused with other ones that are around it so that one's 17 and we'll do it again and then bring it down once they come out so I'm just going to keep going towards these chunks of rock here see these big, big old boulders here Basically, this is where you'll find some of the cargo, uh, the ships, sorry, around these big broken up rocks here. Like this, that's the things to be looking for. And if you want to scan one, you just press your right mouse, uh, your left mouse button over it. So we'll take our scan into that, and then we'll keep hold of our mouse button, and we should get the scanning on that to um, to scan that. Not 
trying to scan it at the moment. So we get a scan going on. And you see there rocks. So we're just gonna keep scanning. I'm gonna turn try and turn to get this sun out of the way. And we'll just keep going over these until we find signature we want. So 3400, that's gonna be one there. Uh, is it? No, it's not. Let's scan it anyway. I don't think it is. It's not multiple enough from two. that's going to be just two boulders and things like that. So let's carry on scanning around here. Oh, what's that there? Is this a spare station that's not spawned in? It's a spare station that's not spawned in. This is one of the things we're going to be looking for here. You see this looks like a broken up rock, um, sort of paw print thing. So if we look at that now, is it going to give us a signature? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this and see what we get from it. So it's a C2. So we're going to head over to this and start doing this C2. So here we go, C2. I'm going to take the V off and I'm going to take my thing down. And we're just going to look at this now. So we'll definitely get a lot of, of salvage from this. You can also find just pieces of junk flying, uh, floating around as well that you can salvage. But this will do us. We're going to get some from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this now. And we're going to press um, M to bring our lasers out our salvage lasers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these so you've got two mining heads you've got the cinch one and the uh, abraid one and the cinch one has got a small diameter of 1.5 meters and the speed is 6 and the efficiency is 0.85 so it's um, it's a bit slower than the uh, um, a bit faster than the abraid one which I'll show you so the abraid one if we press the right right mouse button the abraid one is you see that it's a lot slower and the efficiency is a lot less, but the, um, the the diameter of it is bigger, so it's going to churn up a lot more, but its efficiency is going to be a lot less. So the way I read that is you're not going to get as much out of it. Um, it's, going to, it's going to be not as good quality. Somebody can tell me in the comments if they understand that more, but that's what I'm looking at in that. Then at the top, we've got here your extraction rate, uh, the, how much is left on the hole, and then you're filling up the one SCU box that you'll get. Once it spits that out at the back, you've got to go and move that to, to have the other one spit out. So we once we do move one of them, we can have two because you can fill one, that then gets spit out. Then you can fill another one and then you have to go down and move them two and then you can do another two. We're also going to need a multi-tool and a tractor beam to move the stuff and we'll create that in here from this cargo. So once we get to point A here, then we can create a multi-tool and then once we need another uh, 0.85 and then we need to make sure we've got 0.2 then to be able to create create the tractor beam section of that so that's what we're going to do with the first bit um, and I'll show you how to do that and then we've got down here this where you can move your bias of these to each whichever one of these lasers you want you have to set that up at a button to do that and then um, I'm not too sure what these for some someone might be able to tell me in the, the what's it called 
I'm new to uh, mine uh, to salvaging myself, but I thought I'd put this video out just to show you guys the basics of it. Um, I don't fully, um, I haven't fully worked out everything on this section of it. Moving this, I just keep it as it is, as, as and just and go, just go with that. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to press G to turn your. Um, let's see if I can do it that way. You want to press G. So you're in auto, and then you press M. And it's not letting me do it. You know, do it that way. So if I do it that way and I press F4, can I then move? I think I can then move them in F4 like that. Um, for some reason, it's not working. But basically, we need to be able to set the auto on when the mine when the laser's out, so we don't have to move the ship. It used to allow me to do it, but for some reason, it's not now not letting me do it. I don't know why. So you see though at the side here, this 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 should turn to auto, but it's not doing with the lasers out. I can do it for the guns, but not for the for the beams for some reason. I don't know why it's not doing that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start salvaging and then I'm gonna then create enough to get the boxes uh, uh, the um, tool that I need. So as you get closer, you'll see these start filling up with how much percentage of of we've got to 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 um to what's it called to uh, to salvage so let's do this so i'm gonna have to move my ship unfortunately there is a way of, of gimbling it i don't know whether um something's changed with with what people's done with the the guns and that. i'm not too sure but we'll, we'll we'll figure it out you might get it so it works it could just be something that's going on with the servers at the moment so left mouse button to fire that Gwen. actually i don't want that beam i want that one the cinch and then i'm gonna fire that basically and basically all I do is just gonna get close in and just move the ship around like that basically and you'll see the color changes the more it's going it so we're at 64 percent here on this little section and as you go around it uh, that'll start going down for that section basically because if I if I go over to that you'll see the section changes to 81 so it's the section you're currently on which is which is what's got the percentage there. So we're on 60%, 59% now in just this little section here. And this can be quite a peaceful um, thing to do, this. Check all this tail section here. And you see the extraction rate there. If you try doing your own ship, you'll see that extraction rate drops a lot. So basically what we're trying to do is get to um, that full section. Once we got it full, that SCU there, we can then create the uh, multi-tool with that then. So it's up to you, if you've already got a multi-tool, make sure you bring it out with you so you don't have to create one. I didn't, I purposely didn't bring one out so that I could show you this basically. So you hear that noise and you can see now the filler station's full up here. You can see the filler station is full filled here. And it's ejecting it generally doesn't take too long to do um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to head downstairs and create this oh no what i'm going to do is let that eject because it's on auto ejection i'll show you how to turn the auto eject off um but the next one won't eject itself because that's going to be in the way so the next one is where we'll create the multi-tool so let's get this second box done and you see that will start going up in a minute actually So, so I'm trying something here. You see the extraction rate is, is, is zero and nothing's filling up. Now, I think I tried this earlier on and it was something to do with the server lag. Like, and after a while it caught up and all the work I'd actually done was actually then came, came up. So I'm gonna try that. You can jump on it. The, I'm going to have enough here to do the video.
Yeah, that's fine. It's that's fine because I'll explain. I'll explain that, that you know that we go, we go out and cruise and do it. it you know, it's, there's more than enough here for me. More than enough here for me. Yeah. I'm just on this zero SCU thing extraction rate again for some reason. So I don't know if you know the Vulture, I'll, I'll give you a quick tour of it while, because that there's an issue with that zero SCU rate there. So you have like a gun rack here that you can drop a gun in. So if I wanted to, I could take my gun off my back and drop that into the thing, into the gun rack. Um, put it in my hand too, and then I can just place that into the, and that will put that in the gun rack for me then. And uh, I'm going to put it back on my back because this is not mine. So I'm going to equip that. And then you've got like a little um, closet there. And then down here, you've got the bathroom, toilet, restroom thing here. And then down on here, you've got storage that is um, open to everybody. So anybody that's on your ship can access this storage here. So just so you know that, basically. That's there. And then obviously, it's your toilet there. Um, so I'm going to show you downstairs quickly. And in here, you see that box is spat out. And then this one is um it's got no cargo in the, no, no uh, salvage in the next one and what we need to do is create a, a, a device which will come out here and you have to use salvage to do it but we've got none in there but what you'll do is you go to the create here and then we'll create a, a multi-tool which is going to cost us 8.9 or 98.9 seu and then we'll have to go back up and create another point to end uh, point two create the the beam here as well And then that's it basically. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go back up and see if this is um, sorting itself out now. We've currently got Xeno threat on at the moment and it does seem to be causing some slight issues. So let's have a look where we're at and see if we can. So we're still at zero SCU there. I'm going to show you the abraid, um, the abraid scraper next. And um, see how we go from there, basically. Hopefully you guys. Working. Let's see if I can. Let's 
So, okay, this is working for me now. Let's see if I can do more than one. So here we go, guys. So I've swapped um, chips with Peeper. Um, so I swapped, switched um, vultures with Peeper, and now this is working again. So let's see what we got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the the um, the braid ones this time, and show you how fast that one does. Because it's a bigger, even though it's a slower um, thing and it's less ac and less um, efficiency, it's still uh, a bigger thing, so bigger diameter. So you you, you still go through it really fast. You see that's now. So that's done. So let's let that filler station eject and then we can carry on with the next one. Seems to have sorted itself out. So we can carry on now. And what we're going to do is fill up this. We're going to get to one SCU here. So we'll stop that. Now that won't eject. It's going to tell us it got stuck. And so you say it's, it's obstructed. So we're going to get out of our seat and this time we're going to create from this the um, multi-tool that we need to move the boxes and then we'll, we'll get 20.2 again to fill uh, to the next one and create the tractor beam itself so let's do that so let's zoom in and we've gone to the create menu here and we're going to create this multi-tool here and then that'll create this thing here which will then pop out there and we'll equip that there we are He's gonna grab it. Grab it. There it goes. Just took a bit of time there. And then, so we've got one point one in there. So we need to do another point one. I'm not gonna fill up the thing because I'm, it means coming back upstairs to do another one. So I'm just gonna get the point two, go down, create the multi-tool thing that I need, and then come back up and fill that, that, that one then. So I would suggest that you buy a multi-tool or have a multi-tool if you've got one around rather than creating it because then it, it takes you away from this, you see. So let's go. Carry on with this. I'm going to change this laser. I prefer the other laser, the cinch. To show why I can't put it in auto mode, so if anyone else has a fix for that, let me know. I used to be able to when I tried it in the demos when it first came out in the PTU. I wasn't going to do this, but I ended up doing it. I was supposed to get to 20 and then stop. It's fine, it's fine. So that's full now, so let's stop that. 
Let's go and create the multi-tool thing we need and then come up and create this again. But what I'll do is I'll move that box as well and then that way I can do two. I don't have to come back downstairs. So let's go back to the station. Create the true beam. That'll pop out here. So that's taking its time. Normally it comes out. Normally it comes out quite quick, but we've been having some issues with Xenothreat on. The servers have been lagging a lot. So hopefully that gets fixed once Xenothreat stops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish off the rest and fill the box up until it just, until it tries to eject it and then I'll go down and move on. So that's full now. Once we create the beam, or if you bring one, you can just go straight into it then. You don't have to do all this creating this stuff. But I wanted to show, purposely not bring one to show you how to do it, basically, so you knew. That's still not done yet. There it comes. There we are. So let's go back. And what we'll do is we'll drop that onto that. And that should be on there then. And then when we press four, grab that. There we are. And what we're gonna do is lift it high enough because it gets caught like that. So lift it high enough. And I'm gonna put it there. On the on the purple here and that'll drop it and we're going to get 12 in here we're going to get two there and then two there and then we're going to get three rows and then we're going to let one drop here so that'll be 13. some people will have um 24 they can get 24 in here by stacking them in certain ways uh, so that's up to you whether you want to do that um so what i'm going to do is oh get up off the floor no, oh. and what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in here and I'm gonna this time I'm gonna um, I'm gonna set this tech cargo here. If I just get rid of this, um, set this to cargo here, and I'm gonna eject it. And then I'm gonna leave this auto eject on, so they'll auto eject now. Um, the first one will anyway. And then the second one will will have to do the same. This is this. So what I'm gonna do is keep that high enough, like I said, and then drop it on the top there, and it'll lock into place. So that's it. Now we now can just carry on with this. I'm only going to do the 12, and um, we'll go from there. So I'll probably just um, jump a lot of the going from backwards and forwards every two. But basically, we can do two, uh, two boxes a go now before we have to go back down. And there we are. Let's go. There's a little bit of lag going on, as you see, like it didn't have any, what's it called a minute ago on here, any um, SCU extraction rate, so I had to wait for it to, to kick back up.
especially if she gets stuck under the bed. So we'll wait for this one to eject. Once this ejects, we'll carry on with the next section. So there we go. And we can now carry on because that's been pushed down. takes a bit of time to kick back in again. I'm going to do is I'm going to um, switch the, the thing and then we we'll have a bigger one. So that's obstructed now, so we can turn them lasers off and go and do this. Go and move these two boxes. And that's it basically. This one. So that's four done. We can get 12 in here, so two at a time. You can see how fast this one fills up with this this mining head or the um, salvage head. So we'll let that one eject before we carry on. No. Your chaff is running low. You are out of chaff. 
So if I press G, I can put it to target mode. You used to be able to put it to auto mode, but now you can put it to target mode and you can use your mouse then to move the lip. Well, that's actually doesn't work, so I thought it did. So I'm going to press G again, back to that. I'm just going to just carry on filling up these boxes now. And basically what I'll do is I will probably jump this video now to the point of uh, filling up this cargo. And you see the blue line here and then you see there we've got a yellow line that's still got 47% on which is probably underneath it. And then you'll get a red one which means basically that it's empty, it's got nothing else on it. So let's turn that down, turn that off. So basically I'll probably just jump this um, now from there. So here we are guys, um, just doing the last bit now. So we're gonna fill, so we, you saw there we filled the, the 12 and now what we're gonna do is just fill the hopper so it ejects and then we'll fill one more from there. And then once we've done that, then we should have 13 or 14 cargo and then we'll go and sell that basically. From there. And what I'm going to do is, like I said before, this isn't my ship, so I'm going to have to transfer this cargo to my own ship. Um, I, if, if you own the ship, then obviously that's that's great. You can just go and sell this yourself down at the CDDs, and um, you should make around 100,000 for a full load. And um, so yeah, you should get about 100,000-ish or something like that. But what I'm also going to show is, it's a, a great aspect of, if you do, once you have got used to this and you, you've, you do, and you do want to get more from it, then you can bring, like Dark Soul does, he brings along his MSR um, and he will then fill up the, the Vulture and then throw it all onto the MSR or he will stack 24 instead of 12 in the, in, the, in this Vulture and go and sell that. So there is more advanced ways, uh, uh, more advanced stuff you can do with it. But I'm just showing you the basics here. And so, but what you'll see me do is probably transfer this into another ship with Peeper uh, and then we'll go and sell that then. But what I'm gonna do is show you selling the 13 or 14 or whatever I do have so that basically um, you can see what you can get if you just do it the basic way I've just done it and you don't go worrying about putting it onto another ship or um, trying to stack it with a 24 stack instead of the 12 on the cargo grid and then it's all in place. So basically that's what we're going to do in a minute. I'm just waiting for this last one and then I'm going to get another load and then what we're going to do is I'll show you the load downstairs and then what I'll do is I'll move it across into peepers or uh, into the black, cut this black and then I'll go and sell that. Um, from there. So let's get into this, just fill in this last one and then we're, we're, then we're done basically with this. And you see that there's still so much more of this ship left, like you could come back and do as much as you want, or like I say, you can stack it to 24. It just depends on how you're feeling about the, the time you're on. Are you feeling safe enough to keep, keep going? Are you, um, are you able to do what you need to do, like to stack the 24 um, or have another ship like, like Cutlass Black that you can just stack up and throw the boxes into to go and sell? So great extraction rate there, you know, 16, uh, 17, up to 20. Um, and you can see it's just flying. And you can try and keep this as neat as you want if you want to just keep to the edges and go round and then, then head into the middle after that. So that's now obstructed, so there's nothing we can do with that now. Um, I'm going to turn these lasers off, turn the mining mode off and go and show you downstairs and basically show you the um, ship itself that we've just been doing. And then you can go around to the back side of that uh, C2 and go on... Um, Go and uh, sort that out uh, so you can see the underside of it. So there's one in there, there's this one here, and 
we some people like i said will stack more down here so they'll get another two four six here um and then here and here so they'll, they'll totally fill it till they get to the point here they can't get out that way and they can have to get out this way so what i'm going to do now is show you this ship and what i'm going to do then is i'm going to move it into a different ship and then go and sell that but like i said you don't have to go on if you own this ship you don't have to do that you don't have to put it on a different ship and um and let's say if you own the ship then it's better off to go and just sell it on your own ship um, but the way I've had to do it is because I don't own this. And you see we've done some good stripping there on that. And now what I'm going to do is move around here. And you see all the underside here that we could have done as well. You know. All under there. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to meet up with people over here. And then we're going to just go and transfer this into the, to the vulture. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to open my doors and then we're going to go and put it all into the cup. Open doors. So there we go, guys. Let's go downstairs. And this is what we can do, one of the options you've got. Like I say, you can just go and take it, but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pull out my thing and just... <laughs> oh. So here we are at the terminal guys and now we've got a surprise coming our way. 
So I basically transferred the cargo to my freelancer Max, which is mine, because we had it on, on um, Peeper's Cutty Black. And now it's classing this cargo as stolen. So this could be that um, I used Peeper's Vulture and then we transferred it to Peeper's Cutty Black and then we took that cargo then and put it onto my uh, Freelancer Max. So and we're not too sure why it's doing it. Um, it's supposed to be if you are in the same party, it's not classed as stolen, but for some reason it's classing it as stolen and that's why we've got that. Um, little marker there, the, the can't, um, can't sell this, basically, this cargo. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tack on from when I was able to sell some cargo at one point and show you selling 12 and what profit you would get. And then what I'll do is, I'll send people some money over for, for his app and then I'll sell this stuff at Grim Hex and show you that, basically, the difference in the profits from having it your, your own cargo, if you haven't done it the way I've just done it, and... Um, if you just took your vulture down and then or if you did it the way I did it and you basically having this as class as stolen so we'll move into that now to your vulture there we are no lock on it this time so we're going to sell that the we're going to sell it for 7k it's just the one that was in spur and then we've got 12 of these which we're going to sell for 92,000. That's not a bad haul, actually. 99 grand for that haul. All together. Yeah, I'd say that was good. I'd say that was good. What I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send over uh, Peeper his half for lending me his ship and all that stuff. So I'm going to do that for the more trader and it's going to be... 57.7 I'm going to send him. So here I am guys at Grimex and so basically because of the way we did the cargo um, the salvaging I, where I borrowed somebody's ship to do it it uh, and then we basically transferred that cargo to my ship now what was supposed to happen is because we was in the same party I should have been able to still go and sell this cargo but for some reason, it's it's treating the cargo as stolen, and it's not allowing me to sell it at the at the uh, TDDs. So I've come over to Grimex where I can sell it anyway. No, uh, the no questions asked consoles. I'm gonna get about fifteen thousand less for it, but um, it just means I can sell it. So I'm just waiting for a, a bit to open for me now. And then I'm gonna go and sell this. So like I'll probably get about fifteen thousand less than than I sh than I should get. But we'll make. Oh, I didn't realise I was upside down. But we'll make that up um, from the extra couple of boxes I've got anyway. So that's not an issue. So I just thought I'd tack this to the end just to show you basically because of the way I did it, um, I couldn't sell it at the normal TDD. So I'm just going to sell it here and it should allow me to sell it here. Engine's off. So I'm just tacking, yeah, like I said, I'm just tacking this on the end anyway, just so you guys can um, see it, uh, what happened and why I couldn't sell it at the other places because I've borrowed somebody else's ship to do it. Basically, I got the cargo on Peeper's ship, then transferred it to Peeper's ship from there and then took it to 
the space station, got my sh my Max out here, and then transferred it from the Max, uh, from the from the um, Peepers Cutty Black to my Max, and I think it's it's just acting as though it's been stolen. The cargo has been stolen. When you get when you steal cargo, you can't sell it in the normal places. You have to go to um, like either the salvage yards or here at Grimex. So that's why I'm that's why I'm here. So I'm going to sell this and show you what I'll get instead. Welcome of like you saw earlier, what we got when we sold a full load from an older video that I did, where I had 12 cargo, and I'm going to show you what we get from this one doing it here. If you do it the way I did it, and you borrowed somebody's thing, or you or you stole someone's thing, please basically. visit us again. So it's not letting me put the ship away. Hopefully, not people crashing into it. Let's head down to the admin office and we'll sell this. And I'm hope I'm, I should get around around 100k from it still because I've got the two extra boxes. But I'll show you what it is from the um, with 12 boxes so you can see the difference. What we're gonna do is head to the admin office, which you'll see is like an arrow here down that takes us to the admin office oh no it's not that one there's one for a bit that's where you buy the arrow there is, is where you buy your tiger claws the admin office is this one we'll use the console here and it should let me sell this one here now And now it's letting me sell it. So at the other place, um, when we sell them at a TDD, you'll sell it for 7.6, I think it is, or something like that. 7.6. So we're losing 1.3, uh, 1,300 per unit, basically, by selling it here, stolen goods. So we're going to get 94k. Oh, actually, what I'll do is I'll show you if we had 12. So you can see. So we would have got 75k from it instead of... Um, um, 100k basically or what we sh what we had earlier on so i'm going to sell all of this anyway and um yeah so we hope you like this video guys that's uh, salvaging i want to give a massive thank out to people for lending me his vulture and um helping me with the with the run I've, as you saw earlier on i give him uh 50k for for, uh, for his efforts and i also want to thank dark for the information he gave me and how to find the how to find the salvageable places and just all the guys that was on with me that day just chatting away while I was doing it um, so yeah so thanks to all them so we hope you liked this video guys and if you did like this video don't forget to hit that button tip the like button and don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos and drop them also don't forget to check out the comments for the discord channel and stuff like that so yeah so that's that guys we'll uh, see you guys out in the verse